All right, welcome back to another Sturdy Launch video. And today we are doing kind of a non-fancy, just hope this helps someone else out video. Um, this is gonna be a lot of reenactment because I just did all this and I forgot to hit record on my audio recorder, so there was no audio. So we're gonna reenact this a little bit, but it's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and all that good stuff. So if you don't know, if, or if you've been following along, you know that I recently got an Pearl Export drum kit so I could practice and experiment with tuning drum kits and how that affects the recording and all that kind of stuff. So I had my snare drum and I was tuning high and low on the batter side and tuning high and low on the resonant side, just messing around to see what did what and how that sounded when recorded. Um, I'm guessing through all my crazy experiments that something got shifted or whatever and this tension rod got really stuck right here and I could not get it out for anything. I'm sure if I grabbed some pliers and put all my body weight on it, I could maybe, but it was cross-threaded inside here and I didn't want to break anything or anything like that. So I did what any good uh, problem solver does and I went to Google and I uh, found a couple solutions and this is the one that ended up working for me. So here are the things that you're going to need. All right, first of all, you're going to need a drum key. If you have a drum set, I'm hoping that you have at least a drum key. You're going to need a very basic, or fancy, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, but all you need is a basic one. That's my Home Depot 99 cent special. You are going to need what are called swivel nuts. That is where, that is the part of the lug where the uh, tension rod screws into, so you're gonna need some new ones of those. Um, at least I do for this fix because it's cross-threaded. I'm gonna assume that the threads on that are also messed up. And you're gonna need some new tension rods. I ended up ordering the 42 millimeter tension rods uh, they actually are ended up being a little bit shorter than the original ones so I'm gonna assume let's see if you can do that right kind of see it's a, this one's a little bit longer uh, these are still gonna be long enough so anyways that's that these are 42 millimeters and they'll still work and here's the next thing you're going to need and if you start screaming at the YouTube screen uh, once you see this make sure you leave that message down in the comment section below. I'll be able to hear you a whole lot better. If you have a better solution, I'm happy to hear it. But I went with some WD-40 to try to get that tension rod unstuck. And of course, because we're using WD-40, I grabbed a little paper towel as well, did a little cleanup. So that's, that's pretty much it right there. Very simple tools. Um, I'm gonna say I had to order these and of course they got stuck at my post office for three days, which was just down the street and they wouldn't deliver them for three days, so they sat. So I'm gonna guess, if you're a gigging drummer or need these, or studio or whatever, it's probably good to have some of these on hand. They're not very expensive. Uh, it's probably good just to have some on hand in case of emergencies, you don't have to wait. All right, so, my, so this is the tension rod that was stuck down here. And so the best way to get to it with WD-40 is to come from the other side, so what I did is I took off the batter side, of course just used a drum key, and just went around to each tension rod, and took those off, and removed the drum head. Pretty straightforward, just like you're changing your drum head out. So then I grabbed my WD-40, and again if you're screaming at me, let me know in the comments down below. And I just sprayed a little bit right here, into this hole, so it would go down and get to over here. I did a, it doesn't take a whole lot, I did just a little bit, a tiny bit, let it sit for a couple minutes, tried it, it still wasn't coming loose. So I ended up doing just a little bit more and let that sit for a few minutes. And of course, when you spray that, something's gonna come out here and down here and all that stuff. So I went ahead and just took my paper towel and wiped that up, just kind of clean it up a little bit. I didn't have any damage or anything to the finish. Your mileage may vary, but I haven't seen any adverse effects. So once that sat for a couple minutes, I was able to take my tuning key and it wasn't this easy. This is just finger tight in here. But I was able, it was just a, some gently but firmly effort to get it to come out. And then I just pulled that out and then I flipped the snare drum back over. Now, once, now that I have it flipped over, the the bad tension rod stuff is over here. Uh, I want to show you the inside there because these are screws we're going to remove to take that lug off to replace those swivel nuts. Now when I did this the first time, 
I wasn't sure what how it was actually constructed inside there because I've just never had to replace one of these. And now because we're going to replace those swivel nuts inside the lug, what we need to do is take our handy dandy screwdriver here, our Phillips head, and we are just going to take these screws out. And once you have those screws out, the uh, lug basically just pulls right off. It's just got these little tabs right here. There we go. The little tabs that just sit inside the holes on the drum shell. And these little black screws just screw right in those. So it's not actually screwing into wood. It just goes into that metal. So don't have to worry about messing up the wood or anything like that. And of course, once you've taken your lug off, it's going to look like this. And if you have any WD-40 there, whatever, you're going to make sure you wipe that off. Get that nice and clean. Um, like I said, I haven't had any issues with my finish, but probably don't want to just leave it sit there. All right, so now next thing, we're going to grab our swivel nuts here, and we're going to take um, our lug. Let's see if I can get that in focus. There we go. And as you can see, there's this kind of like little rubber plastic thing that just kind of slides in here and holds the swivel nut in place. You just stick your finger in there like that, and you just... Pull that out, swivel nut just literally falls out of place. Same thing on the other side, just pull that tab out like that, swivel nut drops. Just pull and just set those to the side so you don't get them mixed up. Then we're going to take our two new swivel nuts. I found the easiest way to do this is to do it as let gravity work for you. Drop it in there and make sure when you put this in that the whole side goes in because that's where the that's where the um, tension rod will come through when you're tightening down your tension rods. It's got to have a place to go through. So, and the same thing, just drop it in there. Let gravity work for you. Take that other tab, slide it in. And now, and now we've replaced those swivel nuts and should be good to go. Start putting it back together. All right, so I'm going to show it from this side this time. Here we go. We got our, our lugs right here and they're just going to Stick that in right there. Grab our screws. And I just finger tighten those screws. And take my screwdriver and just tighten them up, you know, snug. Don't, like most things, you don't want to crank it down too hard. You just want to make it snug. Like that. And then we're going to flip this over. And now we're going to replace this with the uh, new tension rod, as I said. This is actually a 42 millimeter tension rod, so it's probably a hair short. It's actually, at least it's shorter than what the original ones are, but um, it seems to work just fine. As you can see, there's plenty for it to grab onto. Um, I don't foresee any issues, but I will probably get the longer ones just to make sure everything's uniform and the same. So that's in there now. And then of course we flip our snare back over and we put the batter side on and that's just like, same as if you were changing your drum head and all that stuff. It's pretty, so we're not going to go through all that, but just put your tension rods back in, tune it back up, and you should be good to go. Um, and, of course, tune your resonant side as well. That's pretty much it. Straightforward. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to scream at me for using WD-40, let me know in the comments down below as well. And, uh, yeah, lots more videos coming around. Drum recording, guitar, songwriting, all that good stuff, as always. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.